Hey guys, this is Backdraft coming at you with another Minecraft tutorial video today. And with this one, I'm going to be showing you four unique doors built using lava. So let's get into it. So this first door looks a little deceiving, but if you get close enough to the lava and spam right click, whoa, what just happened? Yes, indeed. There is a minecart here chilling on a rail. So the way the game works is you pretty much teleport into the minecart. So you go right through the lava and you take no damage. It's pretty simple to build. All you need is the rail, the minecart and lava floating above it. So this next one is a little bit more involved. You can see we got the lava flowing down in front of us. And if I smack this button, I can walk right through and the lava will flow down back behind us. So if you're being chased by a zombie or a creeper, they'll walk right into the lava and burn up and you'll be safe and sound on the other side. And this works both ways. So I can smack that button and go back through. This one is a bit safer than the previous door. All you gotta do is smack that lever and you won't have any lava flowing over your head so you won't die if your lava falls on you and you aren't quick enough to get through the door. But if you're being chased by any mobs, you're probably gonna die from them because you can see the lava takes forever to flow down and you'll be sitting here waiting until it goes down. Maybe you can hop over it if you feel like you have some sweet parkour skills, but I don't. So I'm gonna sit here and wait for the lava to flow all the way down to the floor and go away and then I will waltz right on through. So for the grand finale, you're probably wondering, wait, this doesn't look like a door, but if I get a little bit closer and smack this cobblestone with my pickaxe, whoa, what's going on? So yes, below this, there is a cobblestone generator, which uses lava and water to generate cobblestone. And then there's a redstone circuit that leads into a piston that shoots the cobblestone up and gives you an infinite supply of cobblestone, which will make your door impassable. But if I stand on this pressure plate here and I smack away the blocks, they won't be regenerated so I can waltz on through. All right, it's time for tutorials and go. So for the first door, I'm going to place three cobblestone bricks upwards, and then I'm going to make a circle around that pillar with one empty block in the middle. I'm going to place two here, smack away that block right there, and then I'm going to put a lava bucket up here, place my rail down and my minecart, and that's all you got to do. Then come up to the lava like this, spam your right click, and eventually you'll get through. So for the second door, we're going to start off placing two sections, which are going to be three by four like this. Here's your first one and your second one. Then when we're done with this piece, we're going to place one block here and one block here. We're going to come over here. We're going to smack away these three blocks, come inside like this, smack down your three sticky pistons. Whoops, not there. Your three sticky pistons, just like that. Come around the side here. We're going to place one block there, one block there. We're going to place a button there. Two pieces of redstone up there. Smack your button to make sure all of them are tracked. Place three blocks just like that. Come up top, place your lava, place one sign over there, one sign over here, and then you're all set. So when your lava comes down, smack your button and waltz on through. For the fourth door, you're gonna start off with two three by four sections of blocks just like this. Leave a two wide gap in between them. Then when you're done with that, you're gonna place two blocks here two blocks here, two blocks here, two blocks there, smack all of those away, you're gonna come inside like this, place two sticky pistons here, smack those blocks away, place blocks on top of the sticky pistons, then you're gonna wanna place blocks all the way around like this for where your lava is going to go. You're gonna wanna place one block here, one block there, one there, one down like that, one here, and then finally you're gonna place your lever there. Then you're going to take your redstone, run it all the way up around like this on top of those blocks there. And to ensure it works, smack your lever. Then you're going to want to place two blocks here, smack it back to make sure they get retracted. Then you're going to want to place one sign here, a second there, a third there, and a fourth there. And to top everything off, take your lava, place it up top, smack your lever, and you'll see that the lava no longer flows down. So here it comes, it'll flow all the way down to the ground, and then if you want to walk through, just smack your lever and wait 7,000 years for the lava to go down to the floor. And for the fourth and final one, which is the most complex of them all, you're going to want to start off making a 5x3 area and making it 3 deep. Right in the middle, you're going to want to place a piston, then over here, you're going to place a piece of cobblestone or whatever you want to put right there, place another one there, smack this block away, put your water right in there. Place three blocks like this here, put your lava there, and then you have created a cobblestone machine. So then you're going to want to place one piece of cobblestone there and two more right there. You're going to want to take a furnace on the other side and place it next to that block. And inside the furnace, you're going to want to put a wooden spoon. <laughs> I call them spoons. You can call them shovel, whatever you want to call them. Then take a comparator, place it right here, put it into subtract mode, 
then place redstone going around like that and you'll see you have created a redstone circuit now before you complete it going towards the piston you're going to want to place one block that's level with the floor it's got to be cobblestone then one two three cobblestone up place a piece of obsidian there because it is an immovable object the cobblestone won't generate higher than that so then you're going to place one piece of redstone there and one piece of red piece of redstone there then you smack away the cobblestone and you'll see that it gets regenerated so then the final piece is you want to place one block here above that redstone get your stone pressure plate make sure it's stone because wood tends to burn when it's too close to that lava place it on top of that block there then i can stand on top of it smack away the blocks and they won't generate until i come off of the pressure plate just like that then to pretty it up place obsidian around it or whatever other kind of block you want to put there then you can put it around the floor just like this and there you go so see i can stand in the pressure plate smack away the blocks and waltz on through so there you have it four doors built in minecraft made using lava if you guys liked the video please be sure to hit that thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this one please be sure to subscribe to my channel thanks and i'll see you guys again bye